Bottom of the barrel, hey. bottom of the barrel, cause hey. the barrel is only hey. two small. Bob number 158. Yeah, that's it. That was the whole intro. That was the whole intro. We worked very hard on it. Excellent. Um, what's up, guys? Chris Ramsey. There's no way of doing this that isn't uh, completely amazing. It is awkward. Uh, right? I got it. Is awkward. Yeah, it's always cringe. It's it's my least favorite thing. But uh, we're here today with Mike Ward and Pantelis, two incredible comedians. I'm Mike Ward. This is Pantelis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Welcome. They are and they are brothers. Hey, you Malaka. This is fucking greasy Greek right here. You brought this immigrant to the show. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the whole spiel. So, what you guys got going on? What's uh? uh we're both busy. We're both doing a lot. Yeah. Uh, Mike is, is Mike is doing a lot more than me. I'm trying to smuggle in a goddamn limousine. <laughs> I, 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 what's happening with that? I, I bought the fucking limo. I, I bought a, a limo because I'm a 1980s uh, gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants a limo yeah. except for me. But anyway, so I bought the limo and uh, I got it from a place in Cincinnati. I told them, okay. Uh, uh, and they couldn't deliver it to my house. They could only deliver it right. to upstate New York. Yeah, nice. So, so they texted me, uh, and they were like, we're going to be there in an hour. <laughs> so I get my girlfriend to drive me to upstate New York. And then we're in Plattsburgh. I get out, check everything. The fucking vehicle is perfect. It's amazing. It's even better in the pictures. Yeah. The guy leaves, and I checked everything. I checked online. All the papers. What, what to check. Yeah. But I didn't check to see if they'd left the fucking papers. Oh. So... The, the guy leaves, and then I start driving the thing, and then I, I go to tell my girlfriend, get out of the car, tell her thank you. Then I look, and I'm like, there's no fucking plate on, on the truck. So then I go, Is that a problem? It, it must be in the truck. Right. So I go in, in the glove compartment, nothing, check everywhere, nothing. I call them, no one picks up, and I'm no. calling, 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 oh, no. calling. And then finally, I talk to some, I check online that you can just print a temporary plate. Mm -hmm. So I tell them, just print me a temporary plate and uh, send me the title. And then they're like, well, we can't send you the title uh, right away because when you filled out the form, you printed it double sided and Uh, it has to be single sided. And I'm like, then why did you fucking deliver (laughs) the truck? An an actual vehicle. Yeah. So I spend all day with them and then I'm like, Finally, I get the tag, and I'm like, "Fuck it! I'll try to, I'll try to finesse my way yeah. into Canada." So I show up at the border, and then I'm like, "Okay, I'm here." <laughs> and then, then they're I like, live, "I live there." Yeah. And then th- they go, yeah, "Okay, you got to talk to the border person." Wow. So I go talk to the guy, and then he goes, uh, "You, we need your papers." And I'm like, "I show him like uh, my receipt." Yep. I'm like, "Look, this proves that I bought yeah, it. Yeah, it's I a fucking receipt." It. Yeah. And then he's like. You need, and I'm like, fuck. Uh, I go, can I just leave it here? And he goes, no, you have to drive it back into America. So I had to drive it back to Champlain, New York. No way. But I ask him, I'm like, do they have taxis? He goes, no. And I go, how, how do I get back? And he goes, well, there's a path for the migrants. So I park <laughs> my fucking truck. And you walk? Like a, and then I like see, a settler's path I through, s- the, through the forest? I like, see a bunch it? of Mexicans like walking with their bags. And I'm like... And it's starting to rain, and I'm like, okay, I'm like it's, now. It's crazy. Why didn't you call me? Because uh, I like I I I checked. We, I was an hour and a half from uh, Montreal. Please, please tell me you walked across the border. So I did walk, but yeah. I I started walking, and then the path for the migrants is super long, yeah. and it seems complicated. And I'm like, fuck it, I can see the border right there. Yeah, I'm walking. On the highway. Yeah, yeah. So I just start walking on the highway <laughs> and I'm like, fuck it. When I get, I'll, I'll try to go to the same lady that let me in the first time yep. and talk to her. Uh-huh. And I'm like, it'll be good. I start walking and then I see there's a fucking, there's a, there's a bunch of uh, like American cops that are stopping people before the border. And they I'm think like, you're a refugee. Yeah. They- no, <laughs> no, it was for a drug thing. So then they're stopping everyone. <laughs> they just think Mike's a mule. Yeah. <laughs> <You're> walking. <laughs> just like what you got in your ass. And I, I think the guys thought when they saw me that, that I'd, I'd get nervous. But as soon as they looked at me, I went towards them and I was like, hey, where the fuck's the path? I've been looking for the path for the last 20 minutes. And the guy goes, it's, it's over there. And I go, where? I don't see it. And he goes, just, just, just go. And then I walked, <laughs> and then I waited in line, like behind cars. This is insane. 
same. Then, wait, just, wait. You were standing between I was cars? Stand, I was like a drunk guy at a McDonald's <laughs> drive through at four in the morning. Do you know what crazy? He's one of the biggest celebrities in the country. You know what crazy is? Somebody's like saying that to their friend. They're going to be like, what are you, high? Are you on shrooms? He's like, no, he's You're standing in line. Standing in line between <laughs> cars is wild. That's crazy. And then finally, I was, like, choo, I was choo. like, this is this is insane. And there was a Nexus line. Yeah. And I don't have a Nexus pass. But I was like, I don't have a car either. Yeah. So I think I'm good. Yeah. So I went to the Nexus guy. Yeah. And he let me in. Nice. Yeah, look, yeah. I have a situation here. That is so funny. Yeah. You should have called me. If I, I would have yeah. driven right away. No, no this it, is way better. Yeah, I disagree. I was, I was like, uh, I was... 15 minutes, like a 45 minute walk if I walked with the migrants, but a 15 minute walk if I just took the highway. Yo, all the migrants looking at you, like, dude, look at this white privilege. Yeah. Just like walking <laughs> through the no country. Backpack. Yeah, exactly. No bad. Super suspicious. Yeah. Guys alone. What's it's him, on? 15 Mexicans, three yeah. dudes from ISIS. He's yeah. just walking with them. Yeah. The <laughs> shitty thing is, though, it's since very it was raining, you know, when it's not raining, yeah. you can look like, like, I look like a, I look like a guy that had trouble. Bringing his car into the country, right? Yeah, you look at like that parked guy. it. I, yeah. I look like a, a sort of a, a yeah. gentleman. Yeah, but in the rain, I look like a homeless <laughs> fucking bum. Yeah, that's yeah just no one trying can look to run successful away. in the rain. Yeah, yeah. No. If yeah, you get impossible. if you're wet, you're automatically poor. Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. The, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And at least they exactly. had backpacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm fucking too. Someone stole my backpack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I look like funny. someone that had to sell his backpack. <laughs> Did you have a camel on? No, I yeah. had uh, I actually had a, a jacket with no sleeves and a wool shirt yeah. underneath. So I was you were the fawn <laughs> yeah, dude. Wool. Yeah. You're, you're like the guy in zombie shows that goes north to find the cure. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. Have, we got to get to Canada. Yeah. You're like, That's, so crazy. <laughs> That's amazing. That's incredible. I had no idea you. And went then to this. I I finally got uh, the title today that they mailed. They they're gonna mail it to me, but but, but they I told them send me a PDF and they sent only the front part. And I need the back part too, so I don't know when I'm gonna get my fucking truck. This is crazy. And uh, so my my uh, temporary license expires in like three days, <laughs> so by the time I get it, I'm gonna have to drive with an expired license nice. plate. <laughs> it's so fucking complicated. <laughs> I it's, think just walk back. It seemed pretty smooth. It yeah. went uh, drop yourself off at the border, walk, yeah. get that's the car. What I, that's what I almost did this week because I went back to get something. I was like, I'm not going to bother anyone. I'll yeah. just I walk. know where the trail is now. Yeah. yeah. But then I was like, getting into the States yeah. seems more complicated, right? Because right. they yeah. don't figure a yeah. Canadian will smuggle, like, go back into yeah. Canada for something illegal. But yeah. going into the States without your car seems like you murdered your wife and kids. Yeah. It's very suspicious. Yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Just, I don't know. I forgot my wallet. Yeah. I was here in a hurry. It's so just, crazy. Yeah. So you don't have a car. Oh, I know. Do you need your passport at the when you're just walking? Or is yeah, like yeah, driver's yeah. license? Yeah, you, yeah, always, you, need, you need your need passport. Because yeah. there was a time where like driver's license was fine, right? Driving yeah. down. That was before 9 11. Was it? Yeah. Uh, Bush I, took that away from us, eh? Yeah. I, no, thanks, Osama. That was Osama's part. I found out was it though? little, little, little kids. Uh, I think it's under the age of three. You need a passport, like a three-year-old. And I'm right. saying you need, like, if they're three-year-olds yeah. yeah. listening yeah. right yeah. now. <laughs> there, yeah. but, but three Here's year- what you do. <laughs> <laughs> three-year-olds need a passport on the plane, but in a car, uh, they don't They don't need... Uh, yeah. I think all they need is a birth certificate. And a smile. Yeah. Oh. Nice. A birth certificate. That's a wild thing to forge, too, because, like... I feel like those are pretty easy to forge. That's the easiest thing in the world. It's a piece of paper. I remember when uh, when I was in high school, my fake ID was a fake birth certificate. Was a fake birth certificate. Yeah. That's Just wild. go around with your birth certificate? No, no one has like the, the classified ones? Yeah. Because yeah. they, they, they were like shitty. Yeah, like laminate. Yeah, laminate. So, so I'd just go to the pharmacy and... Uh, like, it, it was before Photoshop, so I just... Yeah, like, facts, I was yeah. 1973, so I, I took the one, photocopied it, and became 1971. Yeah. And it, you could tell it was yeah. fake, but like no one cared. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. You know, though, it was hard. I don't know if it's still like that, but there was a period in time where they told me if you lose your birth, because I was trying to get another birth certificate because I had the paper, the original right. paper said, if you don't have that, we can't make a new laminated version of it. 
Right. Okay. Really? You need uh, the original. Yeah, and then one. I was like, are you people crazy? Have you, what's gonna, if I lose this, do I not exist? Have you held your own birth certificate? Mine's like I have it. Tissue. I have it at home, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, like that's tissue what I'm now. Yeah, it's like disintegrating, a, a, a dude. It's a scroll. Version. Yeah, it's, it's a like, scroll. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, they found it. It's, yeah. it's part if of the If you say the right Bible. words, it turns into ember. Yeah. It just like falls <laughs> to the ground. It's crazy. So then I was like, uh, I was going crazy. What the fuck? What if I lose it? And it was a whole process. And they said, no, if you, because there's certain stuff you have to get from the government that you need your birth certificate. But your birth certificate, you can't remake a birth certificate. So if you lose your original, to get your passport, I think you need it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's very convoluted, our our government. Uh, Yeah, as are most, I'm sure. Yeah. Ours, particularly, not great right now. No, we we had that Nazi. Yeah, which one? The the one that they they applauded in in part. Oh, yeah, that's. That's two weeks ago, dude. Yeah. That's old news. Quit living I'm still in embarrassed. Yeah, quit living in the past. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. I thought yeah. I, when it happened a few days later, I was performing in Ottawa, and I brought it up, and uh, they weren't they weren't happy that I was bringing it up. I said, "Really? Are you guys upset? Yeah. Like it's not you? Yeah. It's your politicians." I go, "Do you agree with the politicians?" I'm like, no. I go, "So why are you embarrassed?" Yeah, yeah. there's something about right, Ottawa, yeah. and a lot of towns are like that. They get embarrassed. About their mayor or their government or whoever. Oh, really? Or their hockey team. Yeah, or their hockey team. Yeah. 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 It wasn't you. That's what I noticed. Like, like, if if you're dating, like, when you start dating a girl, if uh, if she picks a song and you don't like it and she gets insulted, she's fucking crazy. Like, if she acts like... Like yeah. the, you didn't write the. It's not your song. Exactly. I'm saying that fucking Taylor Swift song sucks. Yeah, like yeah. it's not. <laughs> yeah. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't throw the uh, baby out with the bathwater. Is the analogy? Yo, this whatever. Taylor Swift thing. Yep. You guys on board? On board with Taylor Swift? She's she's all right. I realized. Like, I like I like her hustle, and she's gr- she looks great. I didn't get how famous she was until like I saw like her b- breaking all those records. Right. And I yeah. was like, what the fuck? So like. Four days ago, I, I was like, started playing Taylor Swift, and I've n- never stopped listening in four days, never he- heard the same song twice, and I know every word to every song. Yeah. I was like, how do I know these songs? <laughs> yeah. And they're all really good songs. Yeah, She's great, and apparently her show is wild. I've had friends who went to her show, and it's like thoroughly entertaining, like obviously huge budget. She ended up, I think, giving, what was it? I saw this on a post, but like 100000 to each of the truck drivers. Uh, who like drive like her shit, and there's probably like a fleet of like 50 of them. I don't yeah. know, but hundred thousand dollar bonus. Oh, uh, shit. Each, God, yeah, it was like crazy. She's making that money. Oh, know? she's making crazy yeah, money. She, so, I heard prices. she's ma- uh, making she turned down the Super Bowl. Oh, really? Yeah, she's making 1.4 billion. Yeah, with her tour. <laughs> that's absurd. That's insane. Yeah, we got to step up our game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Elon Swift. Yeah. Elon Swift. <laughs> yeah, that's just funny. <laughs> Yo, Elon's making the headlines. He always is, though. He's trying to, dude. That guy's the biggest troll. It's I funny. Think so too. I think he's funny. Yeah. He trolled that Mark Zuckerberg fight. Never gonna. He knew it was never gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I thought it was happening. Of course, no. it's never gonna happen, dude. He's just stringing he people. Get murdered. He's obsessed with like getting autistic, the so. most likes yeah. on a post. Like yeah. that's his like mind is like. Okay, how do I beat that level? Like, yeah. He's a high functioning autist. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. The highest of functioning. Yeah. 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 But I like him though. It's a good dude. I think we should try him out as our leader. No, 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 no. I don't want anyone to Give lead. him a test drive, you know? That's our problem is that we're expecting people to lead. I feel like we should normalize giving more people test drives for a few, maybe like a, you know, like uh, when you when you work somewhere, you get like this period of the like probationary, a probationary yeah, period. Yeah, yeah. We should have that with like world leaders. I agree. Like where a, we have a right to veto within two months. We're like, nope. And second thought, that was a bad idea. Almost treat them like a quarterback. Like you have a yeah. second string president. A second, well, that's the vice yeah. president, yeah. right? Yeah. But yeah. not but really. Like, but you can change. You yeah. go, look, the president yeah, We need sucks. free agents out here. Dude. <laughs> like, we'll try this amazing. guy. His stats are yeah. good. He's young. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. He can jump. He's got great rebounds. We need a president that could jump. Yeah, that, that should also be the thing. If you yeah. you have to be able to jump, you can't. None of them could jump. Yeah, no. but like, let him be president, but don't let him drive cars, because that's treat them like women. Crazy. In Saudi Arabia. Yeah, they're way too old to drive cars. But you know, let them let them run the world. The fucking yeah. free world. Exactly. The world's that makes not sense. free. The world's not free, sir. Yeah. But when you get young, what do you get? You get what we got. Hey, I found out all of my fucking stand up. Has been removed from Spotify in America. Hmm? What? Like it's all it's all available here in Canada, but in the states. When I did a Landau show, yeah, I I had a, a guy text me. Well, text me, tweet me. The hey, uh, I can't get any of your stand up 
in uh in uh, in on America Spotify. on Spotify. And then I have a friend in Texas who who texted me the same thing like two days ago. What the fuck is my stuff available? So do you know that with the bill uh, that they just passed? Oh. Um, they were sh- coming down on. They said podcast, but podcast was the headline. Yeah, okay. uh, I think it was. It's all online media yeah. and like that type of stuff. So if you're like, I think if you're more well known, you're probably going to get hit first. Yeah, but I got I got banned in the states and yeah. not Canada, which is weird. No, because Canada doesn't want to export their creativity. Okay. Unless U.S. pays a fee you, type you, deal, you right? This, they don't. This, it's a. It's the dumbest thing. I've been tweeting about it. This is. It's. It's fascistic. It's, it's very crazy. Yeah. And the 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 line that he puts publicly, Trudeau, is he goes, "We're going to help creators. The way he's going to help creators is they're going to take control of it. The CRTC. Yeah. The way they do with regular TV, and they're going to regulate exactly. what goes in, one comes out, and somehow that empowers. What empowered me was freedom. So that's crazy. how that's how all our stuff exists. I get good people like my stuff, so they listen to it north and south of the border. But that's how YouTube, I think, is gonna eventually get hit because more countries are doing yeah. that. I think there was Germany. I think it doesn't surprise me. Maybe, they're known for that type of shit. Yeah, it might have been Germany, but anyways, yeah. I thought the government thing though was gonna do like what they did to radio. You know how uh, English radio in Canada? That's why Show FM had Rush yeah. like forty percent of the time. Yeah. Cause, cause Back in black to, every hour. Yeah, you had to have Canadian content. Yeah. So I thought they were going to do shit like that. I didn't think they were going to fuck with the exports. Yeah, the the, the, the whole bill says that. So that's why the, the conservatives were losing yeah. their mind because it goes, it doesn't make any sense. Because you're saying one thing, you're saying we're going to help creators, but then you're stifling them as if we could only exist here. Yeah, and, and we could only exist here if this is the crazier part, if the government lets us. So we can't. they can't hear us outside. That's the plan. Unless they approve it. Unless you talk about Canada. Exactly. And even on the inside, they won't push it if they don't approve what you're saying. Right. So I have to be a mouthpiece for the government. I can't talk shit about the That's yeah. all I do is talk shit about the government. I am a mouthpiece of the government. He's a, government. <laughs> he's a mouthpiece government of the government. He loves me. <laughs> <laughs> he's the only... I'm Canada's golden he, child. <laughs> he beat the Supreme Court. They yeah. hate him more than they hate me. They hate That's him. probably why they did. They're like, yeah. this guy, we owe him. Yeah. He beat us? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, you like having yeah. freedom of speech? Yeah. You're not so free anymore. Yeah, he's like, you're only free here at home. Yeah. Working Crazy. for the company store. Yeah, I didn't know they took your shit off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you contact so, Spotify? No, I'm going to... I was waiting because uh, my manager was in Italy. Oh, yeah. So now he's back. And, but since I have... Uh, like, all my shit... I'm I'm the one who would put it up originally on Spotify. But I'll I'll just get the American label to, to re-upload it. Yeah. The... Yeah, yeah the gorilla people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'll just pretend like it's American. So crazy, though. It's, it's weird that you have to do that. Like, everyone was yeah. telling me, what are you going to do if they... Yeah. And I think what everyone's going to do is... We're, Find another way to do it. Yeah, we're either yeah. going to leave or pretend to leave. Yeah, we're exactly. going to Delaware, baby. Yeah. You, you don't need to live in Delaware to I have know. an address in Delaware. Exactly. You know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing in Delaware. Well, you don't got to give away my Delaware fucking plan, sucks, dog. Dude. Yeah. Um, sorry. Here's the plan. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go to another place, maybe Austin, maybe Delaware, maybe Florida. Maybe Florida. He likes Florida. And we're going to be coming here for like- We can live in my truck in Plattsburgh. We can live in his truck in Plattsburgh. Can't get it in the country. Yeah, dude. Or, just walk back. It's sick. Only come back to Montreal for like four months. Yeah. Half of it for tours, half of it to record all the French podcasts. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, that's me. Sorry. Oh. I'm watching something on Bill C11. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, on Bill C11? Yeah. That's terrible. Oh, yeah. And we had good um, YouTubers. There's this one gay guy from uh, Vancouver. Fuck, what's his name? JJ McCullough? Don't know. A good, good dude. He talks, he he like, um, history of flags. Uh, I said flags. Oh, wait, I might have seen this guy. Did he <laughs> Did he go into parliament? Yes, they invited him. Yeah, I saw this. Because the, they wanted to This know, guy is good. Yeah, they he's a little biased. YouTubers and all that yeah. thing. And then he said, he goes, this is fucking garbage. But he's also biased. He's also very much anti, like, French and, and all that stuff. Not anti-French. Stuff, isn't, it? isn't it? Like, no. isn't he very, like, anti-Quebec and, like... Not at all. He's... He, not at all. No. No, he's, uh, he's anti That's the vibe I got. Really? Yeah, when I listened. the French. Yeah, I watched a few videos and I was like, oh, I get it, though. But, uh, yeah... No, it's fine. Separatism. No, he's, he's 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 yeah. like super Canadian. Oh, like he talks yeah. about everything. Canada, Quebec has this. Uh, New Brunswick has this. Places that you don't even even know they exist. Yeah. All right. Well, Scarborough. somebody's got to fight for what we're allowed to say. Yeah. And, but it didn't work because we are a sovereignty and we obey the king now. Yeah. The king. Oh, what I saw it? something online. I don't know if you guys caught it. They say that the worst accent on the planet now is the Toronto accent. That, I agree. There's, they were talking about on Barstool too. There's this girl yeah. from Toronto. No man, uh, like the whole. 
Yeah, she's like known online. White guys who sound Jamaican. Yes, is what it yeah. is. Yeah. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. So you could probably yeah. find her if you look. <laughs> yeah. And once I, I need Mike to hear it too, because he's gonna be like, "What the fuck?" Run so, them and like all this like these like terms. I'm like, that's. She's like known I online. She does like yeah. in she does this kind of shit, but in Toronto. And they're there. It's like, fam, if he left his, his mom's in the hood, exactly, you exactly. need to uh, gank him like, or whatever the fuck. It's like, calm down. Dude, your mom didn't talk like that. Yeah. And nobody at your school when you were young talked like that. You picked that up in the last, and, like... And then they have a saying that doesn't make, like, grammatical sense. It, it fucks with me. It goes, oh, if he did that, yeah. he's sick to my stomach, fam. But he's not sick to your stomach. He's making you yeah. sick to yeah. your stomach. It yeah. doesn't, you know? So little things like that that really bug me. And uh, apparently it beat out the New York and the Boston accent because you say those were the shittiest accents. But I don't mind yeah. New York or Boston. Yeah, no. I got you. I love them. I got used to them. Yeah. It's it's almost like the thickest, but it's not the worst. It's not yeah. the worst. Toronto, man, is insane. Yeah. It feels fake. I like, like, the Arkansas one. You ever hear those people down there, like... Like Bill Clinton, like the, it's very, very yeehaw. I'd, yeah, uh, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. pretty good. I almost believed you. Yeah, Little Rock, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Little Rock. Yeah, I like, I like uh, Southern accents. Yeah, yeah, the Southern ones yeah. always a charm to it. There's like a twang yeah. and a nice. Soothing. They're the sweetest. They yeah. sound like the sweetest yeah. people. It's it's like uh, America's version of Australia. Yeah. Like their accents, like nice and like Australians, dude. A, that's a bit of a wacky. It's not disgusting, it's but awesome. it's wacky. Yeah, mm-hmm. Gillis hasn't especially talks about how like it's just funny, always funny. He's got yeah. this whole very wacky whole bit on it. Uh, it. It is a funny wacky accent. Did you find the Toronto man's girl? I'm looking Toronto accent. Yeah, if you like man a, them, to- the man them. Yeah, Toronto man's accent. Toronto man's accent. Yeah, and then you're gonna see this white chick right away. She she normally comes up. Or worst accent in the world. Have you ever had sex with someone with a really weird accent? <laughs> hmm. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, I have. Wait, how weird? What was the accent? Uh, like, a, I've done it with, like, a, a weird French accent, like Quebecois, but weird accent. Oh, yeah, weird. Like, like, like she's from, like, uh, Moncton. I can't. No, no, no. That, like, forget, <laughs> like she's I, jerking you off with a cigarette in her mouth. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm back now. Yeah. He gets it. He gets it. <laughs> I call this. Is there any video in there you recognize? Uh, oh, fuck. I mean, I think it's the same girl here. Angela learns slang. But if you go, but don't pick that one. Go up. Type in. Uh, so you're on DuckDuckGo. You know about this shit? Ty- go this up. Like uh, type in worst you accent. No, uh, no algorithm. Worst accent, Toronto. Just be Wes. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> so that the first video that you see, yeah, that's the one they're making fun of, yeah. It's West. Hey, cheers, West. West isn't here, by the way. Uh, just letting you know. <laughs> he's dead. Letting you know now. He died in a horrible. Uh, no, yeah, he's, her. he's on tour right now. By the way, I'm gonna take a second. He's on tour, crushing it. Go check out his uh, West Barker. Was it? Dossier. For so he's not uh, dead. Uh, he, could could he could be. He could be. I, I haven't misinformed. misinformed to him since yesterday. She looks like the cash me outside girl. Yeah, same like vibe. The, like the S- same uh, definitely uglier. same energy. She but uh, like a, yeah. a little slightly. But she's uglier. Canadian, so she's like Look, catch me inside because it's cold. Left your mom's yeah. in the yeah. hood. Somebody go smoke that you. You don't leave your mom's nowhere. You have money and you left your mom's there. Yo, you're sick to my stomach, fam. But if it's not true, she's just talking shit. Ugh. That's awful. And her fucking nails. Yeah, and her eyelashes. Oh, it's all wild. So I saw this. I was a little embarrassed because uh, it's Canada, but yeah, they were right. I think this is the worst accent <laughs> really out right gross. now. Yeah. Yeah. No, You're sick that, to my stomach. That's not my ting, fam. You're sick to my stomach, yeah. fam. Yeah. They changed weird. dog and they put fam. It used to be dog, right? That was our thing. Yeah, dog, bro. Bro, bro's still around. Bro's still around in Laval. I yeah. wonder how like her her dad feels. Like <laughs> Going, what the fuck actually? Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's like Kimberly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've talked about yeah, this. <laughs> this is why I left the family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We paid for those extra classes. Yeah, you think your dad sounds that. normal? Probably. Yeah. 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 yeah, her dad definitely. Yeah, yeah her dad's just a guy from accent. Toronto. She might, she might be like, she might have been like an A student. Yeah. And it has perfect English. Yeah. Now like she's, she's sick not to my stomach, air. fam. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she might be just She's doing famous, like, though. Yeah. yeah she's all over her. the place. She might be like the Canadian yeah. Ali G. Like, yeah, maybe the, she's yeah, just maybe fucking she's trolling us. everyone? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. And we're like, God damn, what a dumb yeah. bitch. <laughs> that is like the Catch Me Outside yeah. girl. She's yeah. like that, too, though. Yeah. yeah. She's trolling everyone. Now she's making money. Yeah. Good for her, by the and way. And what I don't like. Yeah. yeah. She should start one of those NPC TikTok channels. Oh, she'll kill it. Where she's just like, 
Thanks for the roast, fam. Yeah. Thanks for the roast, fam. Yeah. And you know, and she does all yeah. these like <laughs> pass the split, fam. Yeah, pass the little ride them cowboy. Yeah. All this stuff. yeah. Ride them cowboy things. Did you ever fam. see that shit, Mike? Yeah, well, the I I Pinky doll. Ooh, I ice cream so good. Doll, like fucking ice cream so good. Every every time I open TikTok, Same. it's always Pinky doll. <laughs> Dude, I get it suggested like every six videos, mm. and it's not in my. I purposely am like swiping real yeah, quick yeah. so the algorithm doesn't pick it up and send me another one in like a week. You know what I mean? I'm like. And and still, every few I'm getting Pinky Doll yeah, ice cream, so good. It's better for them because they make money off Pinky Doll because you because yeah. a lot of people buy the the stuff to give her yeah. and they make I th- they make like sixty percent of that. There's yeah no she makes they they make seventy percent she makes crazy. thirty yeah yeah. yeah. Um, she said on Tulman Abbas she makes like ten twelve thousand a day That's yeah a lot of she, hours I, but I she think... works like eleven hours going ice cream so good <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> mm, ice cream so good. <laughs> <laughs> she's good at it though and yeah, she, yeah. Used to, she used to have uh, OnlyFans yeah yeah still yeah. up there yeah yeah I saw I saw and she was I, in, she was in the playing. interview oh. she was saying how uh, her her uh, fiance dumped her because she got famous but you yeah. could tell that he dumped her because she was like trying to fuck other dudes because yeah. <laughs> yeah. in, when she was doing she's been Mona waiting Bal, yeah. she was talking about how she, she was sort of insinuating yeah. that she had banged at Elon Musk. Right. What? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that clip where yeah. she's like, mm, uh, girl never tells or whatever. And you're like, yeah. you didn't do shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You didn't And get... imagine her fiance is like, you fucking She whore. went to the same party, went to once, yeah. and it's yeah. like, you know. She banged another autistic guy. I have friends who she performed magic Elon and were like, whoa, Elon's like right there. Like that's happened too. That's That's a wild feeling. I don't know. I I, I don't. Not there. I'm happy she's making money because I like, get your money. Yeah. yeah. But it is goofy. Yeah. It's very goofy, and uh, but it's <laughs> she's doing like she figured out the algorithm, and that's what I like about it. It's yeah. like oh, I don't think she did though. I think nope. she stumbled on. Yeah, it. exactly. Yeah. She stumbled it up. Yeah. But, but she, yeah. yeah. But that became the thing. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah. after that, people are like, whoa. So she I, found the new weird. trend. Like, uh, because when I found out she was from Montreal. Yeah. I was like proud. I was like, yeah. oh, fuck, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah, Piggy Doll. She's, she's I want a Piggy Doll jersey, dude. <laughs> you should get her on the podcast, yeah. dude. Get her. I'd rather get the guy that interviewed her on the podcast. I want to ask him hard hitting. No, questions. no, ask, yeah. ask Pinky Doll, dude. That's the view. Pinky Doll, what am I going to say for. Yeah, you're right. How, good is, the, how is, good is the ice cream? Is the ice cream that yeah, good? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is the ice cream really yeah. so good? She should gang do gang. a fucking. Gang gang. Uh, yeah, commercial uh, for ice cream. Like Ben and Jerry, dude, she would crush. Oh, yeah. ice cream, so good. Dude, she would yeah. crush. Yeah. What are these companies thinking? That's wild. Yeah. 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 So good, Ben ice and Jerry, so, so good. good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gang, 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 gang. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, it is crazy. wild. But uh, there, one guy saw this. Um, he had a. You know when you see those, like, here's how to get fucking so much money for little nothing. Yeah. And I always am like, all right, yeah, let's let's have, the it's always fucking. I'll never do any of this stuff. It's all way too much. Um, but like one guy was like, I buy the most things during her live stream and you have like a placement of like top donor or whatever. Okay. And if I put my company logo there in front of hundred thousand people watching, that's going to convert into sales. So he does it. He became what, what, number what, one. What does he sell? Uh, I, I don't so know. He had like an online <laughs> shop. Yeah, maybe oh, yeah. it was, I don't know, some online shop with like items, maybe like for the house or whatever it is. But how do you, what if you don't know what he the logo converted, is? He uh, converted, he converted in like seven sales during that time, which made like $500, which was more than he put in. And so he's like, oh, and then he started spending money to be her top uh, donator yeah. and he was converting on sales. There was a return on investment. He was making money. So I was like, that's, pretty fucking cool yeah, but it also works, it's brilliant it's funny because yeah. you start off doing it just because you're a fucking creep weirdo yeah right and then and you're then like you i can make money yeah. you're like wait i could make this that a living doesn't help you though stop being a creep yeah, yeah. So, like you know what i noticed every <laughs> time i buy her a glizzy have you seen the glizzies she has to suck a gl- that's yeah. crazy what's a glizzy it's it's she's basically look that up. A glizzy is like slang for a hot dog, basically. But it, okay. It, but uh, but if, dog, yeah. It, yeah, if you if you type in uh, NPC yeah. trend glizzy, you're gonna see dudes going into like turbo mode where they're just. But ah. obviously, that's what the whole thing's about. It's like yeah. uh, it's there's like always like this sexual. Yeah, everything about her is yeah. super sexual. Yeah, because like she she's like not doing OnlyFans anymore, but everyone that's giving money is jerking off. Exactly. You could one hundred percent. You wouldn't. I jerk off for free, dude. Yeah, if I got to pay for yeah. it, I'm definitely jerking off. Yeah. You can't not. 
Yeah, I mean, this glizzy trend is insane. It's just dudes out there blowing dicks. Because, yeah, like she got her tongue out and stuff. But I get it. I get it, dude. I don't... I it's it's it. hard for me to comprehend, but there are people out there that have relationships one way. Like, obviously, we all do. If we if we watch movies and stuff, we feel like we know the actor if we've yeah. seen him in 100 movies. Uh, but these one-way relationships. But some people, like, take it that next level where they're like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm... Uh, she knows me because she read my comment once on a live stream, and we're kind of like, you know, we we're talk. And Do you like, have a lot of those? Uh, I uh, there's there's a few people that uh, my honestly my community is pretty chill. They're okay. like, yeah, they're pretty pretty chill. Like everybody watches this is pretty chill. Scared and, of the alien takeover. Yeah. Mm, yeah, true, true. They're all hiding under the table right now, listening to this podcast, hoping it'll save them. <laughs> Yo, Jeremy Corbell, invite him onto this show. He wants to. We talked about him coming up here yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I mean, in the future, he's busy. He's there's always something to uncover with that stuff. Is he out there discovering stuff right now? Yeah, dude. They had um, they were talking to the guy who headed OSAP, which is like the UFO research program the government had. So the head of that, and he confirmed on their podcast that the government is in possession of a craft of unknown origin, and they've broken the hull. They've opened it up and gone inside. Okay, but unknown origin could be Chinese. Unknown, no, because that that would be known origin. No, I'm saying they might not know it, but it could be another country. It, yeah, possibly could. That's what they're saying. It's like an unknown origin. What about? Can you explain something to me? Because I only saw clips online, and you're yeah. you're a guy in the know with all this internet stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, Logan Paul, mm-hmm. uh, known scammer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fan of the Japanese. Him, uh, he apparently went to meet some guy that has yeah, has a video only real footage of actual aliens, mm-hmm. and he pocket video recorded it and and he screwed it's it's, it's supposedly one of the closest because uh, he offered the guy a hundred thousand ufo for a copy and the guy said no it's not time for me to give it to anyone yet so the guy didn't accept the money so can i see it he's like yeah, sure and he let him see it and he's like play it again play it again and he was recording so he goes now i have the copy of that oh what a I'm not, scammer yeah well, that's yeah. what i thought too what a shit and then move, you know he said his podcast he goes i didn't know that uh you should have fucking taken the money <laughs> It's kind of funny. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. So I saw it in my feed yesterday. Oh, what a fuckhead. So now that, have you heard about that video? Is if it that's true, thing? that's not cool. Have you heard about that though, that guy? I heard about the video. What is it? Um, I don't know. Somebody said, like uh, James Fox said, it was like really close up. and it, like, They were driving aliens from one area to another. Oh, that I don't they know about. They had truck. But, okay. Yeah, they were in the truck and it's kind of like this thing and it's right there type thing. But who knows? You know, who knows? It's so easy to fake stuff now. It really yeah. is. Yeah. And we've it, never seen that video. That video just talked about it. And, yeah. and Logan Paul saw it. And he said it was compelling. It and is that, easy to fake. To go back to that, we don't know if it's Chinese. So if the, if they've broken into it, they'd know because the, there'd be like writing. Right. Right? No, I mean, what if the Chinese are faking? Like a fake, fake yeah, alien yeah. Chinese just, thing? Yeah, Dude, they're, with us. yeah, they're probably already into some alien shit is my guess too, though. It's like if we're looking at this stuff or U.S. is looking at this stuff. I know there's a Five Eyes program it's called. Do you know yeah. about this? The secret program the government has called Five Eyes. And it goes, it's uh, uh, Australia, it's England, yeah, all the English yeah. speaking, and um, and USA and whatever. And they like recover information and send it to each other and whatnot. But, you know, China's got to have, and Russia as well, I'm sure yeah, has. The, the squint eyes. Yeah. yeah. The, Russian, <laughs> the Russians in China. Russia and China, definitely. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, like I mean, you can't you can't ha- not have if we're having encounters and we're seeing stuff. There's zero percent chance that it's real if, if they're, they're not seeing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You what know if what it's mean? fake on purpose? I mean, a lot of people think that they call it Blue Beam Operation Blue Beam. They don't call like, it Blue Beam. That was the actual operation that they were planning on doing. So mm-hmm. we just refer to that. But that's a real thing. They're planning on doing a fake alien invasion. You know this as much as I do, Chris. Why yeah. are we playing stupid? Uh, a while ago, they did this. Or they tried to do it, but uh, again, maybe here's here's a twist on that. What if it is real aliens and the government's saying, "Oh no, no, it was us," because they don't want you to think that they don't have it under control. Their their uh, their skies. You think that's why the like nowadays it's not as bad. But remember, like ten, fifteen years ago, whenever you saw people that got abducted, mm. it was always these fucking hillbilly Hillbillies. baboons. That was yeah. the trope. In so, so do you think it's the government that are like, okay, we're gonna pretend to abduct? These yeah. fucking hillbillies said that they're going to make yeah. everything look fake and yeah. stupid. Like, There's, if the aliens are going to abduct someone, is it always going to be Cletus? Who, who yeah. had a bit about that? There was a whole bit about that. 
I don't know. But it makes sense. Like, it's so stupid. Too many Murphy. It's always dudes. Like, and the other thing that bothered me was everyone's getting probed. Like, the aliens have nothing yeah, yeah. to do but and they like, bang somebody had a bit about that. It ass. might have been Eddie Murphy. I'm not sure. But, like, they spray them with booze after the aliens. And then it's like, <laughs> leave, you know, leave them in a field somewhere. <laughs> no one will believe them. They're just, like, pranking everyone. Have you uh, stumbled? Because I know you've been doing a lot of research for your mm-hmm. other show. Have you stumbled onto anything compelling recently? Uh, yeah. I uh, Yeah, actually. there's uh, There was a famous sighting up north. Do you hear about this? Uh, recently in, in 2012 i think oh, this was a while ago it was like or 2012 or 20 it was no it was nine years ago so whatever the math on that is um and 2014 is that right i'm gonna stop guessing um there was a sighting up north there was this guy who's seen them recurring and they wanted to run a story uh on it up north and a journalist i hit him up and the guy's like uh you don't write the story uh unless you see it yourself and cause he's like i don't want to seem crazy and he says, like, all right. He goes over to his house for, like, two nights in a row. And the second night sees just this crazy show of, like, these slow-moving orbs going into one, moving, zipping, like, this whole thing. And this guy sees this, like, every night. And uh, so, yeah, I spoke to him, the the journalist. I, uh, I interviewed him. And he saw it. Yeah. Yeah, he's, convi- was- he's he thinks there's portals up there. He's like, dude, I know what I saw. And he's been a journalist for like 30 years or whatever. The guy was really smart, though. He was on to, TV. Uh, to get that, to tell the journalist, yep. don't write anything unless you see it. Yeah. Because he, he would have He's like, like, it's not my word, fucking, then it's yours, yeah. you know? He didn't want to seem crazy. Well, but, what town was it? Uh, Santa Dove. Okay. Yeah, they went on TV. They were on TV, and they were talking about it and everything. And they were back then, like in 2014. And so I dug that up. And no one took him serious? Uh, no, there was, uh, there was, they had... Uh, UFO conventions up north after that a few of them were like 50 people would show up and some UFO experts and stuff guy from uh, McGill uh, Don uh, Don Don Derry he was uh, he had a, he taught classes on UFOs okay. at McGill which is pretty sick uh, so was, was this before or after they were doing MK Ultra stuff at McGill after hmm. I would think yeah yeah when did they do MK Ultra, Miguel? During the MK Ultra stuff, uh, they were doing it here too. We okay, were, were, like yeah. in the, isn't Doctor Penfield involved in all that yeah, stuff? It's completely illegal. Yeah, we, we did crazy. Doctor Penfield, no, he's like he yeah. he was into a lot of weird shit too. Yeah, yeah we like we've contributed because a lot of people talk shit about Americans. Mm. Go look at all these secret programs. You know, Charles Manson was MK Ultra, dude. We volunteered our people without them knowing for all this crazy shit too. Yeah. Why yeah. don't we have as many uh, like uh, like? Uh, because uh, there was like Charles Manson and then a couple of other there psychopaths. There was Manson, the Unabomber that we know about. I don't know. And Charles Manson, we only found out when that book Chaos came yeah. out a few mm-hmm. years ago. Mm-hmm. So and ours- still mainstream doesn't know about uh, Manson, about MK Ultra. Yeah. It's not a mainstream thing. You have to read the book and, and figure yeah, it out. Brainwashing. Like, yeah, yeah. You, you didn't, you didn't, most Are there any fa- famous Canadian psychopaths from I, uh, that era? I Honestly, it's my fault. I didn't check. I should, because there might be. Because the thing is, it wasn't meant to make you a psychopath, right? It was, yeah. it was just to see what they could control. That's just a shitty side effect. <sighs> yeah. yeah. The, the Unabomber, though, he was already... What they did is they, they just broke his spirit. Yeah. They, uh, what about Boston, too? The marathon? Wasn't there some weird talk about that, too? Like, that, the, But they, that's their, the FBI... They executed the wrong guy when they found him or something? But the know. FBI does that a lot, where... Um, and and they, they also arrest each other by mistake sometimes. The CIA yeah. and FBI have to stop. So what they'll do is they'll they'll take yeah someone they're like that Spider-Man unstable. meme yeah. that's what they do <laughs> yeah. they'll take someone who's mentally unstable and he goes on chat rooms and he talks about wanting to blow shit up and then they start like oh, gassing him up yeah they they gas like oh, they shit. give him wet they give all they plan the whole thing and then sometimes it won't even go to the end like they'll just stop him right before he does and, like we arrested this guy trying to oh uh, we caught it we, we, we shot caught him down. But they're the ones that were propping him up give it's us crazy. more money it's yeah. such a waste of taxpayer dollars if you think he's really that unstable you could probably right away put sounds him in jail. fun though yeah sounds sounds so like a good time they catch each other. The the CIA and FBI are yeah. doing two different criminal. Uh, is, there, there's a, a skit about that where like um, a guy's going to meet like a like where you're like online or whatever, you're going to meet like a 14 year old boy. <laughs> or it's just like two old dudes meeting each other, and they're like, "Oh, what's up?" <laughs> right? Because they're both pretending to be 14 year olds, and they're just both old guys like showing up. And like, oh, that's shit. the FBI. Hey, the yeah, that's, that's like the FBI catching each other. I saw a video. Um, like uh, someone doing like to catch a predator, but yeah. just like a shitty, shitty version. Yeah. And uh, the the guy that got caught, the uh, the person said, "I was the one you talked to," and he was like, "Oh, phew, that means it wasn't illegal." 
And he was like, no, because you thought I was a little girl. And he goes, yeah, but you're not. Yeah, I think a lot you're, of things. Yeah, but you're not. So it's not illegal. Oh, that's actually wow. true. That's yeah. so funny, dude. Yeah, that's actually true. He that's played the Uno, Uno yeah. card on him. He's yeah. like, no, nah, not nah, my turn, dude. Uh, He's like, you thought a lot. People think a lot of things, but you're not no. going to jump the things you think. That not is yet, funny. anyway. That is funny. You know why they stopped that show, right? Why Chris Hansen's show, uh, what was it called? How to Catch Predator? Yeah. Catch Predator. To catch Predator or yeah. To Catch Predator. It's a great um, show. Yeah, it's f- amazing show. Um, the guy, so when they leave, they always have the SWAT team that like pins them down. And the guy, as he was like trying to like exit the house to run away, the SWAT team got him, brought him to the ground. He was a little heavier set and just died. Oh, really? Oh, they killed the they pedophile. Killed I didn't know that. Yeah, they and then the, the show stopped after that. That's got to get you an Emmy, right? Yeah, I think so. At I least. think, yeah. I think that's a great season finale. Yeah. I wonder, do they tell the family? Because if you find out Uncle Alan died, you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. t- how did he die? He fell. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> but So he, he fell? Yeah, well, the cops... Fucking cops mm. beat him? Yeah, well, he tried to fuck a little girl. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I feel like you should have led yeah. with that. Start with Uncle <laughs> yeah. Alan as a pedophile. <laughs> yeah. So how did I fell? <laughs> and then, like a SWAT yeah. team fell on top of him. Whoa, wow, yeah. this story just keeps getting better. <laughs> That's <laughs> so funny. Yeah. All this to say, he came with pizza and condoms and he tried to fuck a 14-year-old girl. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah dude. He was he went from having like what he thought was going to be the best night of his life yeah. to, to literally having the worst yeah. night ever. Yeah. That's crazy. It's true. He thought he was going to bang. Oh, he thought Imagine, he was this. He's though. like, dude, it's happening. If it's like heart, he was like pumped if up. If his heart was that weak, yeah. um, if he would have banged a 14-year-old, he would have died yeah. during that too. I think for right? him, though, he's like, Wouldn't that's the way I want to go. As soon as a chick would take her shirt off, he'd be yeah. like, oh, my greatest night <laughs> of my life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What a great death for that guy, though. You know what I mean? That's what yeah. they really want. That would be more traumatic for the kid. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously terrible. Yeah. Which is Don't worse, condone it, but for him. Or almost getting molested yeah. and then having to pick up a dead guy. I think that's fun. I think that's, that's better. Worse, that's yeah. no, that's the better one. Yeah. But I heard Hanson has a new show. Could be. He was on stage with Logan Paul. Yeah. You see that when they had the fight interview on stage, they had Logan Paul, Dylan Dennis, Logan's team, whole crowd of team, Dylan Just Dennis, scam. nobody over here, and he's like, "We're gonna fucking expose this predator." He's suing him or some just yeah. rat bullshit he's doing. But he's like, "Oh, this predator." And then Chris Hansen walks out, <laughs> which I was like, yeah. "What? That's." Yeah funny that is yeah. hilarious and I he's like how much he paid him for that yeah dude it, and he's it like it's probably only like a couple thousand no no but he actually asked because dylan what the number is. you broke bitch he goes because yeah. they paid you to be here and then hansen said i paid my own dude what a here. prank though <laughs> what a prank <laughs> say that Could, i dummy. bought my own he ticket. pretends like it was his idea <laughs> i bought my own ticket dude dylan. that is the i would love i have my own money I ha- and he's like i have a new show I have a new show. Yeah. Oh, he tried to plug his show. No, he's just trying to he's tell the guy, the I'm best. not broke. I have a show. He's the best. <laughs> Amazing. Imagine paying him to just wait at your buddy's house after work. Oh. oh. With pizza. Just yeah. some pizza there. And he's like, hey, why don't you have a seat? You know, yeah. you're like, oh, wait, fucking little camera yeah. crew. Dude, that's, that's the best prank. There? Yeah. Why don't you take a seat? I always think, I always think, here's how I, like, when you see it, when you're like, he always has pizza, right? He's always like, have some pizza. Um, the, the, the guy who's eating it has got to have some fucking balls, dude. There's a few guys that, that like, just sits there and eats that they're laughing. like, they just eat dude. And I'm like, this guy's innocent. Yeah. <laughs> Get him out of here. He's eating the pizza, dude. There's no way I would. Well, the thing is they're not all, but most of them that go yeah. there, uh, I had seen something about this. They're not people that have actually done anything yet. That was the closest they ever got. Yeah. Yeah. Clo- Which is not excusable. I'm just saying that I don't know how you pin yeah. It must be difficult. Damn, in the they eyes. got so close, dude. They're but so it must close. be difficult in the eyes of the law because yeah. yeah. his lawyer is going to be like, "Well, he didn't do anything." Like, yeah. yeah, what he thought it was, like, yeah, he imagined stuff. You don't imagine shit, yeah, dude. Like, he was in his head. He's like, "Tonight, tonight, dude." That's I'm so what excited. I'm thinking. That shouldn't <laughs> so that get funny. you arrested? It's yeah. so funny that they get arrested though, for like intent. Because even like uh, yeah. just, just like online. If if I sold cartoons of little kids fucking, you stop doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a cash cow. No, yeah. That was a cash yeah, but cow. now now there's AI. Oh, that's one of the fears. Oh, when Dally, shit, yeah. when Dally came out, you were it was in beta. I had the beta, and they were like, obviously, no sexual things because it doesn't know the difference between sometimes a man or a child. Oh fuck, that's crazy. Or a woman or a, you know, a child, and it's like, oh shit, then you can see some wild 
free kitty porn than with yeah. like and i'm sure now there is i'm sure yeah, one thousand sure. yeah, percent AI. Sure. oh fuck that's there's crazy. some dark ai on the web out there doing someone. just that if someone made ai porn on my kid i'd kill them but i mean isn't it better to have ai child porn no arguably than, 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 than real child porn like i remember a couple of years ago i'm an organic kind of guy the, yeah. there was uh <laughs> there was a company in china that they were selling uh sex dolls but like uh like children children yeah and that's way better so much me. better yeah. Like the, I, I, that's way better for me. No, no, but I mean, I mean, the, 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 the uh, uh, like a you don't have to pedophile. kill these dolls. Yeah, no, I yeah. feel better about it. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, that's I, what yeah, I, mean. yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I also Obviously. feel the same way. I'm like, yeah, dude, give them something to fuck if it means they're not gonna fuck kids. Yeah, like, that's that, how we know we're, we're different people. That's the whole thing. And if you gotta make them, yeah. they gotta make them look a little sexy. Just do what you gotta do. I, you know? I saw today. I went to uh, <laughs> the market, and there was a person at the market. I don't know if it was a. A small lesbian yeah. or a very handsome boy, but it was very weird. Yeah. I was at the counter yeah. and I was looking at the person <laughs> and I was like, "Is this a nine-year-old child yeah. or a little like, lesbian, a foxy <laughs> lesbian?" Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I was, it, I, it was weird. Good looking, very good looking. You, you know, so I hope it's a lesbian. <laughs> 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 so I mean, funny. your other option is sexy kid, so yeah, yeah. I hope it's a lesbian. <laughs> Shit, you know what? That person will find their someone who's into that, and is like, the day has come. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "What? Yeah. This is this is it. This but is what I've would, always wanted." If they would sell those dolls, what I would do? This is why I can't be in charge because <laughs> I would get a list of everyone buying them and executing yeah. them. Oh yeah, well, you, no, you, you see, like maybe yeah, we just put a little cyanide in them, so it's like microdosing cyanide or something, and they just go. I don't know. I still think I agree. AI porn, AI child child porn is better than real child porn. I'm mm. not saying we should have real child porn. I'm saying there is. Make it AI, dude. At least it's not someone's kid, dude. You I'll know, kill someone. Oh, yeah, 100%. There's so much, like... Uh, yeah, Liam Neeson, dude. There's so many, so many fucking ads now. I, I always get ads of uh, Elon, like a fake Elon Musk yeah. telling me to invest my money. Yeah, the Asian it's one? always garbage. Oh, it's not the Asian one? No. no, 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 no. Mutt or whatever no, his name is. Like, there's some is that it? it's like AI, and they take his face, but you can tell when oh, he talks. Yeah. He sounds like a robot you know more than yeah. usual. And he's yeah. like, Asian I invested Elon? in, uh, and then it's always some investment that you're like, you didn't invest. Like, no. I invested in pony carbohydrates yeah. coins. I, I would, um, I would 100% try fucking uh, a robot like sex doll. I would 100% love to try it before I'd be too I die. I'm just scared that something's going to happen to my dick. Like it'll get cut off or something. Yeah, they got like, no, but they like there's like some that vibrate and stuff. I I'm like, just saying. You know, you know what's amazing about a robot sex doll? I just thought of this. Like the you know when they came out with the real dolls, the reason why those never really got popular is because they weigh like 130 yeah, pounds. Silicone. So it's so fucking heavy. You're not yeah. gonna drag a fucking a 130 dead body, yeah. dead body yeah, that's what it looks to like. clean it up. But yeah, just so filled with cum. You're just like the, the <laughs> beautiful this thing, thing about a robot is yeah. once you fuck it, you can go okay, go clean yourself up. Yeah, and Ooh. then it, it cleans itself. Up. Auto wash is yeah. nice. Auto yeah. wash is nice. All right, pull it up. The, the, you, you got him. Yeah. You never seen this guy? No. The Asian Elon Musk. No. <laughs> Pe people can't figure out if it's an AI or not. Play a video if you got one. It's so funny. Turn up the volume. Oh, oh yeah, I I have seen him. Wait, go back to the beginning. He says his name. Hi, everyone. I'm Elon Ma. Elon Ma. Oh, it, it messed up here. Oh shoot. Elon Ma. Oh, my bad, huh? My bad. Huh? Hey. Dude, look at him. Follow me. Under. Retweet. Under. Retweet. Yeah. Yeah. I like him. Uh, he looks like a young Musk. I think we should yeah. replace Elon Musk with that guy. Yeah, let's no, vote for I, that. I like the original. No, give me that guy. I want to see what happens. So he's not going to fight Musk. I was excited about he's that. He's definitely not fighting. Zuckerberg's making moves. Zuckerberg, I think, would kind of kill him. He's been practicing yeah. jujitsu. He looks like a bunch dude, of years. You, you see how ripped that. he was? Yeah, yeah, dude. Changes he looks nothing. Doesn't like, mean like he, can he knows how to fight. He used to yeah, look like a nerd too. He he was like right nerdy. And then got super jacked into fighting. He wanted to put an octagon in his backyard, and his wife didn't want. It. He told that story. 
I was like, oh, he's legit. I'm going to choke this bitch out. It's just yeah. like for an octagon. Yeah. It's because when that picture came out where he was like dressed like a mime surfing, you see that one with the sunscreen? Yeah. Where he was just in white face? Like, it was wild. How can, like, how can you be a billionaire and yeah. your wife not let you yeah. build an octagon in your fucking yard? Mm. Like, just buy your neighbor's yard and put it, like, buy your neighbor's house and put That's it in That's grounds for a divorce. Yard. Buy yeah, a new wife. Like, dude, here, yeah. here's... A half of my billions. Yeah. You know, but yeah, power of the P. Why is it that every old billionaire, and he's not old yet, but they always get jacked, like Bezos. Yeah. Looks like he could fucking murder someone. Because he's small. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ch- Chappelle. You think that's why? Yeah. Chappelle? You see how jacked Chappelle is now? Yeah. Did he get jacked again? Yo, he's again? juiced, dude. He's ripped. Yeah, yeah. well, because he's got nothing else to do. He's retired. He goes to this comedy and fucking works yeah, out. Yeah, it's Good off-putting. Point. Okay. Oh, that so, I got nothing. Uh, else Joe to Rogan. Do either, though, so Joe Rogan like purposely wears like looser yeah. clothes when he does yeah, yeah. sets, oh, so geez. that he doesn't go to like a. Joe Rogan is jacked. Too. Look at this shit. Yeah. This guy's huge. But I know, like a couple years ago, he got really big, and then he he stopped working out so much because it it's fucking. It there's something weird about you watching off. a stand up comic yep. that's too like too big built. Yeah. Like uh, that. Um. What what's his name? Uh, Aaron Berg is jacked. Yeah, uh, but the the guy from uh, something about Mary, um, uh, the actor Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller, yeah. like Ben Stiller was kind of muscular, but he used to hide it. Yeah, and I forget what movie he took his shirt off, and then people were like, "Oh, I don't oh, like this guy. <laughs> what a piece of shit." Yeah, that's the same yeah. when like uh, they get naked and they got a huge dong. I'm like, I don't, yeah. I don't know if I like this guy anymore. What kind yeah. of movie am I watching? Packing heat, dude. Yeah. Why yeah. is it only dicks? Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not watching this with a wife. What the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, that's hey, true. Uh, speaking of dicks, is Ken Jong's dick in the hangover? Is that his real dick or I'm that's, sure it's a, that's a fake dick, right? They put prosthetics a lot. But and there's like cuz his dick, I I remember seeing that yeah. dick and it was the smallest thing I'd ever seen yeah. in my life and it made it super funny <laughs> cuz I didn't think he'd get famous. I thought he'd just be that right. one guy from that one scene, but then he got famous and I was Might like be his real dick. I hope that could not be his, his real dick. dick. Who could should google that? I'm checking it out. The, the thumbnails seem to say it's his real thing. Like, oh, yeah. like, I had heard oh, it. Was it feels so bad, eh? God damn, I feel bad. No, yeah, yeah. It's like I laugh way too hard at that. Yeah, I got pissed that? so bad, dude. I feel real Asian bad. Dick. Huh? It's a little Asian dick. It's fine. There's probably somebody who propped up his pubes too, like the the hairdresser, or whatever had to like give him a pube perm or something. <laughs> yeah. He had like a big bush too. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh yeah, he, he had did a fluffer. Have a big bush. He had a yeah. fluffer. He did, dude. Yeah. I was half mastering yeah. that scene. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Poor Ken. Hey, he's funny. He is funny. He was funny in Community. Yeah. You ever watch that? He was that? awesome yeah. in Community. I love Community. You guys yeah. know that show? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Yeah. You too? You watch it? Yeah. Favorite yeah. episode was a trampoline episode? Where there's like, it ends up being a neo-Nazi that owns a trampoline oh, or some yes. shit. In the Hidden Garden? <laughs> in the Hidden Garden. And then they're like, dude. all the signs were there. And then they're thinking about it. And there's that one point where they see the swastika on his chest. Mm. And they point at it and he goes, it's an unfinished maze. And they're like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> funny. Uh, this is great. Yeah, that was a great show. That was a great show. Why did that die? They said seven seasons in a movie. Was that it? Yeah. I don't know. And I think are... they did seven seasons. Yeah. Then Six or never, seven, but then there was the no movie because Chevy movie. Chase fucked everything up. Yeah. People don't like Chevy. Yeah, he rubs everyone the wrong way, apparently. Oh, apparently he's a fucking dick, apparently, from That's... stories. Multiple stories online of yeah, Chevy yeah. Chase are like, no, you can't. No one likes this guy. He's very mean. They were pranking yeah. him and stuff because, like, apparently, yeah. allegedly. No, I... And- it's, I'd still love to fucking hang out with Chevy Chase. I'm it's sure. weird though that Chevy Chase like was super famous. Yeah. And then he stopped being famous because everyone fucking hated him. Yeah. And then he got a second chance. I can And he's and he still yeah. f- kept on being a piece of shit. It's like yeah. a guy that right? we know. If you're a piece of shit yeah. and someone gives you a second chance, be the sweetest. Become Bill Murray. Yeah. yeah. Become Bill Murray. I mean, even Dan Aykroyd. He's a little yeah. off the wall, but he's still all right. Look at uh uh, fuck, who who else do you have back then? You had, uh, fuck, Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Become Robin Steve Williams. Steve Martin. <laughs> kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let society do it for you. You kill yourself. He was the goat. Oh, He's dude. So, good. so I got a message from our friend Sebastian Burgo. Okay. Oh, I got to piss. Can you guys go? All right. Because he goes, um, hey, can you check on Guido? And I go, what the fuck? So I look, and he sent, Guido sent him randomly a message. He said, hey, man, if I disappear, I want you to know that everything I said about you, I meant it. And he's like, what the fuck? Is this, is this guy killing himself? So he sends me that. 
So then I reach out to Guido. I go, look, man, are you killing yourself? Are you trying to commit suicide again? Like, what's, what's happening? He's like, no, I would never. Who the fuck would say that? And I show him the screenshot. I go, what is this, bro? He's like, what? What I meant was, like, if I get busy and I disappear... And I go, no one reaches out to a random person they haven't spoken to. That's crazy. That's crazy. And he couldn't see that he was the problem. And he was getting so mad. He's like, I'm gonna he was so mad at Burgo. Oh, you want to fight Burgo? Yeah. He said, I'm going to block him. I fucking see him. I'm going to lose my mind. And I go, it's not his fault. I, like anyone who would read, who see the screenshot, it's super suspicious. Look what showed up. I don't know who that person is. So I just Googled his name real quick. And the first thing that appeared is... The school shooting. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Hashem will go. <laughs> oh, and, oh, fuck. That's weird. Yeah. No, he's not a school no, shooter. It's a he's doing one. good, yeah. He might, he might be. Eventually. Wow. <laughs> Eventually. Yeah, yeah. He's got to go back to school with a backpack. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, what do you mean there's no baseball in this city? That's Did you guys want a refill, by the way? Oh, you brought... Oh, I'll grab yeah. a second. Thank you, doggy. Much appreciated. So we still filming? Yeah, yeah we're still filming. Okay. Yeah. Did What's you sit down? Who? No, no. Uh, he came to give me a drink. Oh, I thought he, I thought he came yeah. sit down. I was like, oh, nice. Oh, that would have been oh, fun. Yeah. That would have been smart. Yeah. People wouldn't it's know the a, difference. They think it's something. Yeah. Thicker Dude, beard. I would yeah. sweat like a pig in front of the camera. I couldn't have... handle it. <laughs> Dude, this guy sweats so much. He How... sweats from his knuckles. Really? Oh, you when nervous Video games. I'm very nervous. You got something to hide? Maybe. Yeah. He's like, oh, shit. Yeah. Do you want to eat some pizza? Yeah, yeah have a seat. Watch this, yeah. yeah. <laughs> shit. You've been talking to me the whole time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've been chatting with me. So what, what have you been up to? I didn't ask you. Um, Just this and that, man. Working on videos. Same old, really. I'm getting ready. I got a gig in um, in New York, Cardtopia. So Ooh. it's like uh, the people who make my playing cards, uh, the company. Mm-hmm. They're doing like a convention. I'm MC and the whole thing. So, That's very badass. cool. What date? Uh, November fourth. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. Fourth. Twenty fourth is uh, Ali, right? Yeah, we got that fight. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty fourth, and then the twenty seventh actually coming up here. Uh, West Barker in Toronto. If oh. you're in Toronto, you don't have your tickets yet. A few left. Uh, check those out. But he's filming a special. So oh, go, go support West Barker, yeah. Toronto. Yeah. Go support your man's. Yeah, He's going to make man, you man stick dem. to your stomach. Yeah, support your man, Dem. Yeah. He really needs your uh, your help. But yeah, I'm doing, I'm going to go open for him and like hype up the crowd a little what, bit. What date and what theater? The 27th? The 27th, and I don't know the theater. Okay. It's like, uh, it's only like, I think, I think it's only like 150 or 200 seats. Okay. Right? Yeah. I don't know if the theater is like a comedy club or something. Okay, yeah. Maybe it's a comedy bar. It could be. I don't know. You looking it up? Yeah, I'm on his website right now. I'll post it on the screen. Nice. Nice. There we go. What a shitty looking website, dude. Toronto with Chris Ramsey. He threw my name in there too, eh? Yeah, he's smart. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Bye now. Where is it? The Adelaide Hall? Adelaide Hall. Adelaide Hall. Adelaide Hall sounds like like Edinburgh yeah. for some reason. It does, yeah. It sounds very Scottish. Mm-hmm. So all my mans that are 19 all plus. All the mandem. All the mandem that are 19 plus make your way to Adelaide Hall. Sick yeah. to my stomach, fam. Yeah, look at look at all the tours he's going on right now. He's he's with his company doing, uh, like it's a variety show, a lot of comedy acts, comedy magic. And there's like a girl who does like, you know, the thing with her feet and the bow and arrow and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, so... Really cool show. Oh, but she's there, that girl? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if it's that girl, if there are oh, more if than one. Girl, I want to meet her. I follow her on Instagram if it's the same one. I wonder. Yeah. So they're touring. They're doing a whole bunch of places across Canada right now. It's a pretty nice gig. They get, you know, the the whole the travel, everything, all the expenses paid, and 800 seat theaters constantly. It's amazing. Yep. You, sold you, and sold out. Like, yeah. Very pe- cool. People love comedy magic. Mm. Yeah. It's wholesome. Yeah. Yeah. It how, can be. How it is Toronto be. when? Yeah, because uh, Wes isn't wholesome. Uh, not he all. can be. Okay. I, I've seen him. But uh, this show, he was saying it, it's going to be dirty, right? Uh, it's. It, I mean, he'll throw his like his dirtiest stuff in there, but it's not really dirty. Like, I mean, he, yeah, it's dirty. I mean, he says fuck and everything, and makes like yeah. sex jokes. No, and no, stuff, it's not it's, like dirty. It's not dirty. dirty. It's not like oh, here's my cock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, no, okay. it's very tasteful. Yeah, okay. uh, but it's good. It is good. I've seen it a few times, and it's always, I mean, every one of his bits is funny. He knows, you know, he's yeah, done it he's a million times. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be good. be a good show. 
Um, you know, hope it goes well. He's going to also put it on YouTube, by the way. Okay. So he's going the YouTube route. He's an innovator. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. For, yeah, first guy to ever do it. He's first copying one of our guys here. Yeah. yeah, one of our guys here. Py just dropped his uh, <laughs> yeah, comedy yeah, yeah. special. In I French. haven't seen it. No, it's good. You like Bo, Bo Burnham? <laughs> I love Bo Burnham. <laughs> You're gonna love this fucking special, bro. <laughs> Maybe I won't. How is How is Ottawa? Ottawa was fun. Yeah. A lady vomited uh, during the show. Yeah, right as I ended the first show. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, how it, come? Uh, well, that's nice what I was asking. Wait. I go, was it because of me? And her husband's like, no, 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 no. It's because of her diabetes. And then she was like on the floor. And I go, okay, well, uh, you got like oh, an she's on the floor? Yeah. <laughs> and then and I was like. How long was she there, there for? for? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you have like an injection thing and all that. He's like, ah, it's covered in vomit. I can't use it. So they were just trying to pour orange juice in her mouth. And I go, shouldn't we call an ambulance? Like, ah, we're going to figure it out. I was like, this is scary. We're going to figure it uh, out. That poor lady is probably dead. Yeah. <laughs> and he's I'm just killed. like, dude, I can't miss the ending. Uh, yeah. was, he's like, can was... you hold on another seven minutes, I think? Like, yeah, they were two fun shows, yeah. Uh, not for that lady. Not though. for that lady, no. Fun show of her life. But yeah. I, I, I had a good time. Uh, they seemed to like it. Uh, th- there was one thing that I, I can't say on camera. I'm going to have to tell you after. But you're going to be like, what? Uh, what? I already know your reaction is going to be crazy. Okay. Was Chris Hansen involved? No, 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 but might as well. Like, it wasn't that type of thing, but it was just something. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? But only like performers would understand me. Oh, you yeah. guys are going to understand me. You're going to be like, get the fuck out of here. That's and you thing. can't talk about it. You, If I would, you'd be like, you shouldn't have said that on camera. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Probably a good call then. I know you. Okay. So, if but Mike will, says don't say that on camera, no, oh, no, but yeah, in a couple I don't... of months, for sure, I will. <laughs> but now I want to keep it close to the chest because yeah. we don't know where we're going to go with it. But uh, it was just it's something ridiculous. But it was a fun time. And now I'm trying to book for uh, Toronto because I had the comedy bar guy mm-hmm. in August. He's like, I'm getting back to you with dates next week. And then that date never came. So I keep sending messages. He never replies. He's like, oh, shit, sorry, I was busy. Next time. And never. So yeah. I, I try to find another club. Yeah. And now them, same thing too. I'm waiting for them to get back for dates. It's fucking crazy, Toronto. Toronto's crazy. Uh, mm-hmm. A lot happening in Toronto. I get it. Nothing in between Toronto and Vancouver but other than like a few pit stops. But yeah, yeah that's the thing. I want to go to Calgary too. Yeah, mm. Calgary's great. Laugh Factory, Laugh Shop. Laugh Shop. You guys gave me the, the info. Shop. The guy I reached yeah. out. Yeah. I didn't get a reply, but I reached we out. We did he our knows. podcast there. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah, they told me. My brother's uh, there tonight to go see Sugar Sammy. Oh, did you see? Oh, yeah. He's yeah. on tour now. Yeah. Sugar yeah. Sammy's, uh, yeah. Is uh, he running his bilingual He's stuff? He's doing the bilingual show. Wow. Yeah. Across Canada. Across Canada. And the advertising is you must, like it's written, you must, you must understand French and English. To come see this and show. And he's still selling out. And he's yeah. still selling out. Yeah, wow. Because, that's because so sick. There's, there's a lot of expats out there. So many, so many <laughs> Quebecois yeah. expats that are like, and, and they're like telling their friends, come and everyone. That's cool. Everyone kind of understands. How cool and, is and it for you if you're like a Quebecois out in Calgary trying to learn yeah. English and you're like, Sugar Sammy's doing a bilingual yeah. show? Yeah. That's cool. You could bring your friends and yeah. even if you just get the English or you just get the French, you yeah. have fun. i never seen him live. Never seen he's him. Fun. He's fun. He's the really best live. Good live. Live yeah. is where you have to yeah. see him on TV and stuff. His and clips, crowd but... work is fucking insane. Yeah. yeah. He's so good. Like when you see him on YouTube, you're like, oh, he's good. Yeah. But then you see him live, live and you're like, killing it, damn. crushing it. He's like, everything is like he. It seems like he has an out for everything. Yeah, he has an out for everything. Yeah. And the reason is, I think he's he writes like 24 hours a day. Right. And he, he'll always be like, ah, this isn't good enough for a joke. But then he he has it in his yeah, head. Yeah, for like the crowd, if ever. Yeah. So he has a joke about everything. Yeah, like a Russell Rolodex. Peters is also really good at crowd work. I've seen him do crowd work. And Whose it all, crowd work was he doing? It was it was <laughs> it was at the comedy store. Okay. Uh, and I saw him there. No, but his it was all calculated. Is why it was good mm. uh, because it wasn't just random crowd work. It was all, you know, obviously race based and like. Uh, but he had the twenty three and me. He's like, has anyone done twenty three me? And no matter what you say. He's got he, something. He's got something for yeah. it, right? Oh, I was 5% Jamaican and they're white. Or I was 2% uh, Belgian and they're and they're Asian or whatever. So there's always some type of like way there. So I just thought that's a good way of initiating like a uh, controlled environment. Mm. Uh, another guy who does that is Jeff. I forget his last name. Fox Worthy. No. <laughs> no. I actually you do, don't know. All of his fans, <laughs> did you do 23, uh, 23 and me? What are you, 100% white? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all of his fans yeah, are 100%, 100% fucking white. trash, dude. <laughs> yeah. Huh. My sister's my cousin. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did, uh, uh, do you mean Jeff Dye? No, Jeff. Uh, he's, he's out of New York. He does the cellar. Uh, hold on. Let me find him here. And he's very, very funny, dude. Uh, Jeff R. Curry. Ooh. 
Very, very funny guy. Um, crowd work is like some of the best Top I've seen. Notch. Yeah, just uh, super quick, and then like all types of topics. It's nice to see where he's like, anybody have a tattoo? And he's like, oh, what's your tattoo? And he just goes from there. It's always funny. Or, okay. uh, you know, who, who's wearing a necklace or whatever it is, and whatever's on the necklace, like he's got a joke about it. So it's like, it's nice and structured. And those he knows, like his clips get millions of hits, right? So he knows how to structure, uh, you know, target this stuff so that he can lay his jokes in yeah. and then go viral without giving away his bits for a special or whatever it is, right? So I think it's really smart that people are like yeah. controlling that crowd work a little that, bit for the that's camera. Like that guy. Who's, what's the name of the. A young guy, Matt Rife. It's very handsome. Yeah, yeah Matt Rife. Yeah, yeah. He's on another level. Dude. Yeah, he's yeah. having fun. He make twenty million off his tour or something. Dude, I saw him. Uh, I saw a clip of him seducing this hot milf. Yeah, I was like, God damn. All yeah, but of, also making probably clips. making fun of her at the same time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All of his clips are that though. Yeah, it's yeah. He was on uh, Two Bears or with uh, with uh, Tom Segura, and. He he was blowing his mind by like he's like yeah people bring signs to my show they're like suck my pussy like in the middle yeah. of his set dude and he's trying to like fucking yeah. like, get back home yeah. mom. they're like oh, it was in the place. Yeah. it's like all yeah. these crazy like signs they'll throw panties like and he'll get like literally almost molested when he's signing stuff yeah. to like oh, grab fuck. grope him and he's like dude if that was the other way around it'd yeah, be all yeah. fucked up but this guy's been doing comedy yeah. since he was sixteen. He's been out there. He's a funny guy. I thought, I thought I'd hate him when he started popping Same. up. And then I started listening to him. I like and him. I was like, oh, fuck, I like this yeah. guy. Yeah, Every show he does, he explains it where like, the girls go. They, the girls buy the tickets, and they're asking their boyfriends to come. And the girls are like, you know, all eager. And yeah. the guys are like this. And then after a couple jokes in, the girls are like, and the guys are like, oh, I like this guy, you know, because he's an actual comedian. <laughs> that's amazing. He's doing fun jokes, yeah. you know. Yeah. The girl's like, that's offensive. Where's he based out of? Is I think he's from L.A., I okay. think. Based out of the back He's got to be L.A., dude. Yeah. Look at the guy. You don't yeah. look yeah. like that. And no, but he's not... driving around a lot from, I heard him say. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I know he was doing the freestyle battle stuff or whatever. Uh, what was that with Nick Cannon yeah, back yeah, in the day? Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. doing all that. So he, he was Wilding already out. like quick off the head. Yeah. yeah he's good, dude. Yeah, wilding out. Yeah, the kid's good. I'm very happy for him. More success to him. Yeah, no, I I think he could live with less. Yeah. I don't think more success. Jesus Christ, man, he's 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 young. Let him know, fucking sure. blow up. Yeah. 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 yeah, say something for the rest of us, Matt. Like what the <laughs> fuck, dude? I love that the two American comics blown up now are him and Shane. Yeah, like yes. the, they're both polar like opposites. Polar opposites. Yeah. Well, like, I mean, both white guys. Yeah, is, but I, I don't, <laughs> other than that, Shane has a lot of <laughs> suck my pussy. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, Tom said he's like, oh, I got some of those girls. He's like, but those are fucking. Boars, dude. He's like, yeah. he's like, they're never the your type of women. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, that's one thing I noticed with me since, the, like, uh, when I got my divorce. Every woman that's come on to me, yeah, is just fucking the weird. worst. Yeah, weird. They're, just, just... We, they're old and very sexual. Yeah, they're too like too sexual. They're too yeah. sexual. I got the uh, witness. Yeah, some yeah. yeah. Insane. That's there, funny. there was one that was telling him like she, <laughs> I was just, like, no, I I just I, I got a girlfriend, Mike. and she was like, it'd be crazy. Imagine sucking Mike Ward's cock. She was telling that to me. <laughs> she was telling that to me. She was like, imagine sucking his guy. I was like, I don't and have I to like, imagine, ma'am. Yeah, We're close. Yeah. Well, now that you said I can't not imagine it, <laughs> thank you. And then I was like, no, no, but I got a girlfriend. She goes, I respect that. I respect that. <laughs> however, however, if you want to have lunch, if you want to have lunch. It's so funny that she's like, I respect that. Like it's like yeah. it's some business decision yeah. she's walking yeah. away from. But no, because she didn't walk away from so she, classy I respect all of a sudden. That, but if you're in town, I will suck your dick. Yeah. That's and then funny. he was laughing. He's like, oh, thank you. And then she yeah. said, she said, she was like, uh, I'm gonna be a Moncton. You're playing Moncton. <laughs> I'm gonna be a Moncton. Yes, yeah. yeah, you never know. Yeah. Hey, Moncton. Yeah. What happens yeah. in Moncton? Yeah. That's what they say, right? Might run right into my mouth. Yeah. yeah. They say, what happened. happens in Moncton? Accidents happen. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but they're not the. Yeah, they're... and she's like, and she's like rolling up a Mark Ten cigarette while she's yeah. doing it. You know what I mean? One of those machines. You know those. <laughs> little, she's filling <laughs> the it up. Rolling like, machine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Little clock, clock, little cock it back. So funny. Light went up. Throw a filter on that bad boy. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you get goblins at the shows, but uh, I have a lot of young people. I have a lot of young girls at my shows. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. The shows that I book. Yeah, you yeah. have hot girls that like you. Yeah. That's I get, cool. I get their ants. That's a cool I thing. I get their weird, <laughs> yeah. slutty ants. Yeah. It's cool, though, <laughs> yeah. that like girls are into comedy, too. Yeah. Like, that's fun, too. It's nice to hear, like, you know what I mean? Because a lot of times it's, it can be very bro y. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and and to have like girls there, like oh, girls' night, we're going to see a comedy, and whether it's a male or a female comedian, it's like it's fun to see. Mm. Yeah, the switch girls need to let loose a little more. I think they need to go out to comedy clubs and. Yeah, I get a lot of them. Like they come out, yeah. they they let loose, they have fun. They uh, sometimes they're 
they're harder to offend than some of the dudes that are in there, like depending right, yeah. on the on yeah. the material. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you. It was funny because last week there was, it was one woman who wanted me to go harder, like on the. I go, is that too much? Because people yeah. were like a little offended. And she's after the, the show, one, you mean? Or? No, no. During she's yeah. like, no, <laughs> fucking. For, they go talk about whatever you want. Talk about that. I was like, oh shit, okay, uh, I like this, bro. All right, she she's down with it. Yeah. yeah. I bombed yesterday. I was telling you guys. Yeah. Holy shit, dudes. You yeah, reliving that is wild. I'm reliving it in my head right now. It's I, wild. It's never happened in my life. 40 minutes of bombing. There was periods, yeah. long, more over 50 minutes of silence. You never got them back? No. no I, I don't you even, never had them. I, I don't think I ever had them. <laughs> I don't think I ever had them. Like, the, the, it's not, oh, uh, you. we didn't like you. They hated me. Yeah. They, they would much rather me. look at their phones, which is probably what they were doing. Dude, some, yeah. some people were looking at their phones. One guy was listening to music. Like, it was just, <laughs> all of a sudden, you're, you're, three minutes in, you just start seeing faces light up. Dude, it <laughs> was the light of the phone. You're just like faces lighting up like an orchestra. What's crazy is the people that were there, arms crossed, wow. watching me, perf- not never losing sight of me for 45 minutes, Fuck. but never laughing, just like this, hating. And never talking, though. Never talking uh, either. Uh, Some of them were crazy. Uh, Some were talking, but it, it was m- like the majority wasn't. The majority sat there and they committed to God damn. fuck that guy on stage. Yeah, fuck. It was God crazy. God damn. Yeah. But what? it was fun. Like uh, for me, man. at the, it's a good story. But it was. Uh, it I don't was think I've ever bombed like that. I just haven't performed enough. I think because it's never happened to me. Because the, I've had bombs where I'm like, Ugh. and only they only felt bad because I heard other people get cheers and pops. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because a bomb isn't oh, a bomb isn't worst. so bad if everyone's bombing. Yeah, you're like, yeah, fucking crowd, right? But like, if you're like fucking crowd, yeah. and the next guy just gets the fucking craziest pops, and you're like. Oh, yeah. I gotta go, guys. I'll I, see you later. <laughs> I was lucky to be headlining. I was last, so I didn't get to see that. Mm. Uh, and then they were so angry when I got off that even when the hosts, they didn't care. Uh, but they were, dude. It was it was awful. I did. Did you stick around for like pictures? And shit? Bro, here's what I did. I stuck, oh, me I, I, I stuck <laughs> around. This is this is how much of a lunatic I am. And you charged. I, was like, I can't. <laughs> I make can't it, let them make a line. Hey, 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 yeah. line. <laughs> I go. I can't let them win. Oh. So I go right to the exit where everybody has to go, and I fucking stood there to talk with the other mics. Uh, I was like talking there, look at everybody, like have a good night, have a good uh, night. I was like, uh, you didn't fucking win. Oh, uh, here's murmurs of what waste of time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of like, Ugh, you know, hired a babysitter for this shit. There's a lot of eye rolls. One of the worst shows I did was a corporate. I did a couple years ago and everyone fucking hated me like they at, at first they weren't listening and then they started talking and the bathroom was be the like behind the stage so they'd walk up on stage to what was the company bathroom. google was it, it <laughs> no it was I, I forget what the company was i remember though the boxer jean pascal was there oh okay. and he he went to the bathroom like two three times and i was like god damn fucking wait wait till the end of the show yeah <laughs> finish the show and i was like since it was a corporate and I, I was with a new booker and I was that was like my test show yeah. and I was like <laughs> I'm he's never going to book me ever again. So I was like there was only like 80 people so I was like I'm going to go try to make each table laugh at least oh, once. It's like a walk yeah. around walk around so, comedy. So like I was doing like a, a table magician. Like I was going table to table <laughs> That's incredible. like doing I should have done that. Close up comedy. That's and amazing. I did it and then I made everyone laugh and then I left and then the booker uh, who was there called me and he was like, you bombed yesterday, right? And I was like, I fucking, I ate <laughs> the biggest bag of dicks ever. And he was like, why did I get a fucking letter from the president of the company and the girl that uh, handles human resources saying it was the best show they've ever had? <laughs> and dude. I was like, because I made everyone laugh. Because he went to the tables. Yeah, that, uh, that is, I should have done that. Yeah, dude, and- I tell that to magicians a lot too. That I'm like, that's the difference between like, comedy magic is like like we have to interrupt people and like when you go to tables it's very yeah. daunting to be like hey look at me stop talking it's my turn and you're all gonna love me you know what i mean like that's a weir- yeah. weird energy to bring in but like doing it with comedy is a whole other because i can fall back i can make fire if my joke bombs yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. and they just go whoa right and i'm like you're right yeah. you know and we're all having a good time but if you're you know just bombing with a joke yeah, you just, I got and another plus, joke. Like, it wasn't even. I didn't go see him before the show where they would have just been like, "Who is this guy?" Right. It was after, so I I showed uh, up 
I was the guy they fucking hated. Yeah. Imagine that's the so guy fucked. that you fucking hate that yeah. you're like, they're probably talking going, that fucking guy. What a shit. Was, oh, hey. Was it I, hard to turn them? Or like, what was your what was your structure of going it was in? Just, what, I'd go did in. Did you laugh at yourself? Or I'd like, just make tell them how I fucking killed. Yeah. And I, I was I was amazing. <laughs> and because <the, laughs> if you make fun Right, of we yourself, can all agree that was yeah, amazing. That was yeah, fucking awesome. That's a, I'm the <laughs> best, right? You have to agree. That's the best comedy. <laughs> show ever <laughs> i had brought it up i was saying a couple times i was like uh, i don't know when i lost you guys I go, but clearly i lost you and then they were just there was no reaction to yes you did it was more like <laughs> was there like one person <laughs> wow. though because usually there's like that one dude nah, bro, that the whole saves room. you no, they, <laughs> you're like okay he likes you no, oh no, yeah no. right 100 yeah. of the uh, room across the hated room me. and then the crazy thing is i leave and i'm walk, i get in my car and the first person i text was mike i go bro I just bombed for four, like this never happened. I bombed for forty minutes straight, you know, because I knew he would laugh. And I texted because normally it's I like funny, to book yeah. everything. Yeah. So I text my manager who there's a language barrier because she's Cause super francophone. So I text her the exact same thing. I text him like I go, I just bombed for forty minutes just so she knows that the thing she booked. And then she gets back to me this morning. She's like, sorry, I, I only read your text this morning. Great job with a fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> she thought it was a good thing. <laughs> Because I guess she figures when you kill, that's like it. a bomb, that bomb destroys. Right? You know, you're like, that's yeah. awesome. Was like, it was the bomb. The fuck? That, that's you're even the bomb. worse. <laughs> you're the that's bomb. That's even worse yeah. now. She doesn't even sympathize. Of course you bomb, dude. You're the bomb. Oh, yeah. I had that once. It wasn't that's with so my funny. manager, but my, my ex-wife. Someone once said I was the shit. And she was like, oh, no. I disagree. Like she, she, thought, she was like, that's very disrespectful, <laughs> saying that you're the shit. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. That is a funny language thing. No, saying everyone, the bomb or bombing yeah, or yeah. the shit or was shit <laughs> is very close. And everyone's saying the same thing you guys are saying. Like, it's impossible. There was someone with you. Half the crack. Oh, bro, there was zero. Yeah. It was 100%. It got so quiet. I could hear the kitchen. I could hear them inside. They're in another room. <laughs> Just you could hear them talking. The you hear their music. And then it's funny because you know how I was waiting in the front? One lady's leaving and she goes, hey, by the way, she goes to the, to the, to the host. She goes, uh, you got to do something about that kitchen. Because we were trying to listen to this guy. But we could hear the music and the talking, and I was like, yeah, "Maybe you, that's what fucked you." No, you you could hear that only because of the silence. Yeah. <laughs> if people were laughing, you would never. Hear <laughs> and were, were the other comics that thing, or the other comics were watching? Uh, Mike Patterson had already left, so he didn't okay. see it. But uh, the other comics were there, and even them, like the opener. The opener is too funny. The opener is he, he's he's looking at me from far. He comes and he's just because he knew I'm not delusional, right? Yeah. Is he like a brand new comic? Yeah, he's opener? pretty new. He okay. got he got some good pops. <laughs> so, he, <laughs> <laughs> so he comes and he's like this. He just rolled his eyes. He's like Jesus Christ, and I go, what the fuck was that? He's like, I know. I he's like, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. And then uh, it's funny because the guy who's hosting, he was also hosting the bordel on Saturday with me and I was and he was dying like I was killing and everything was going great so he's like he's like he's like I don't know what to tell you like I was waiting I was like ah, he's gonna get them with this one and nothing you, you think like if there was one guy or two people it would start something yeah, it would, right yeah, other people would, maybe they just didn't feel comfortable laughing at something yeah, yeah. because of they're judged or whatever yeah, so creating that hate. you know a lot of places does that uh, just because of the venue itself if, if it's not uh, if the sound isn't right um, people won't like their laughs will fall into nothing. Yeah, and and so it it's it's dead real quick, right? Whereas other places, it kind of resonates the laughing, and it it helps you. It stimulates people to laugh, right? If you and, hear laughter. And, and the guy it, booking it, he was when I got there, he was already hammered, so he was slurring his words and yeah. stuff. And I don't so know. I'm just trying to find a scientific so, reason. Yeah, he knew, and he's like, yeah, you know, we used to do this back in the day, and, and he he seemed to like you. It's yeah. like, oh, they're mic friendly. This yeah. is gonna be nice. So then. During the set, when I noticed, like, man, maybe it's just me. Maybe they just don't like the Greeks. You know, I even said, I go, am I the first Greek you people are meeting? Like, what the fuck's happening right now? <laughs> and, an then, and then I went into the joke that well, references yeah, it, It's like in Laval. So they yeah. definitely see Greeks. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. But, but they weren't happy with the Greeks they've yeah. seen. So and yeah. neither were they last night. I didn't like, help the cause. Like you, you're yeah, the, so, here, so then I bring up like his thing to see uh, where they stand. So the second I saw that they weren't fans of him, I was like, holy shit, I'm in the most hostile. Like, yeah. they hate everything I stand for. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. That is funny. That is, and, that's, you know, that's, a, that's on your manager, though. And there's sometimes booking booking that show. She, like, now hey, she has. I didn't tell yeah. her. I didn't clarify. So she spent this entire day thinking he fucking murdered last yeah. night. <laughs> you know, she still doesn't. Yeah. Know. Or she gets the call. <laughs> Don't even tell and her. She's dude. like, is he delusional? Because yeah. he told me he killed. Oh yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah she's she, like, I'm trying to collect the check from these people. They're just being hard. What's happening? I wouldn't be surprised if they did not want to pay. That's how bad it was. <laughs> and there's something weird too about like doing a show like that where you know, no matter what I do, 
Like you could have like hacked I tried. it up and and been more yeah. like I did. Uh, I even tried like almost Borgo and uh, nothing. Right. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, nothing. I try. I, I tried a little bit. I tried to bring. I tried to speak to people directly, yeah. uh, and nothing. Nothing was working. There's a lot of crossed arms. It's pretty fun though. Like it's mm. fun as a memory for me. Yeah. But thank God it happened now. Yeah. As a professional, if I if this happened early in my career, I would have killed myself. I got booed That's off stage funny. in uh in uh what? Scotland once. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. During like your depression too, During era, right? During my depression. <laughs> the height of my cure. depression. That's a good cure for depression. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, that was I'm going to go to rainy old Scotland and do yeah. comedy no one likes uh, that yeah. they're all going to hate me. They don't even speak and English. And the weird <laughs> thing is like when like I I used to be kind of close with Jimmy Carr in those days and I I had texted him after the show because yeah. he was like Edinburgh's gonna love you. Yeah, and then yeah. after the show, I'm like, I, I, I think Edinburgh's changed. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, You gotta go back tomorrow. You gotta go back tomorrow. Do the same venue. Uh, and do the same material. You have to win them over, or else you're gonna be. It's gonna be weird. Uh, it's just gonna be a story about you getting booed off stage. And then I was like, He's right. He's right. And then the next night, I went on stage, and then I changed stuff to win them over. And then I got off stage and I was like, what a fuck? What? A, I, I felt like a piece of shit. I was like, why did I want to win these fucking assholes over? Yeah. I hate these fucking people. <laughs> yeah. And then I hated myself even For doing more. It. I was like, I should have just fucking left with the story yeah. of I got booed off stage yeah. and fuck them. I just want to be rude. Yeah, but yeah, you were doing, I mean, the money and stuff and like your obligation as well. Like Wes does that too. I yeah. remember we were in Austin. I opened for him and... Uh, Crowd was a very much magic crowd, not so much comedy crowd. Okay. Uh, so they heard magic show, not comedy magic. And even comedy magic, they're like, oh, comedy magic. You know, it's fucking, he's going to pull out some props and it'll be fun. Funny wizard spells. Yeah. And yeah. so Mike Eaton opens up the show. Mike's got a whole bit about how he's fucking, you know, he's got this uh, machine that gives him head and he's got to clean it out. And it's this whole thing. It's fucking hilarious. And he's getting like a little, a little you know, it's 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 small. It's getting there. Yeah, but there's never any giant pops or anything. I'm like, all right, whatever. Well, weird crowd. He's in Austin. Mike's used to killing in Austin with his material, right? And then so I come on and I, yeah, I open with like school shooter joke. I got another joke, you know, all these. And it's just one after another. Just, whoa, whoa. oh, really? I do the magic and they're like, whoa. Oh, and they light up, dude. Like fucking yeah. And then you'd go back to jokes, jokes and they'd yeah. be angry. A very magic crowd. What a fucking shitty crowd. And Off then piece. Wes comes out and murders because Wes instantly recognized this crowd as being a corporate crowd. Okay. He's like, this is a corporate. Okay. You, you gotta keep it mild. You gotta keep it like all the jokes are the edgy jokes are like you can't say, don't ever say like gay. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you can insinuate or something, but like it's yeah. like very and so he played it perfectly. Steve from accounting and is one they of them absolutely loved it. I look like a fucking asshole to yeah. everybody there. And then the first guy's fucking uh, yeah. and the host uh, robot head. Yeah, the host too. You had to come back between yeah. and like do bits, right? And uh, I I remember like the, I remember the, like the the people working at the door and the comics and stuff were laughing at my stuff, but it felt so alone, <laughs> like and weird, right? I didn't but get any of those pity laughs. It, it's the thing about <laughs> it's the thing about magic. I showed you the clip with Vince, right, with his prop. Yeah, yeah. And the uh, the ring where it comes yeah. out of, and there's a kid there. Yeah. It happens so much in magic when people hear comedy magic, they think ah, funny and magic, yay, right? Like it's like this idea they have of you know whoever, and they get there and they hear actual comedy, like actual like humor of like you know original stuff and. And they don't like it. They're like, yeah. no, no, no. We want a David Copperfield meets, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Some some funny David Copperfield. Not even like a hacky <laughs> yeah, version. Like, like a it's... Seinfeld. A Seinfeldy yeah. Paul Reiser yeah. type of eighties. But of. hack. What's yeah. the deal with wands? Yeah, yeah, they all say the same jokes. They yeah. all say the same like when I go to magic conventions, I have to watch out. Cause if I do a trick yeah. or a bit or I say I do a trick and then I add like a line to it to make it funny or whatever. They're like, oh, that's good. I'm going to use that. Yeah. Literally without even, there's no they shame. They lift your shit. Yeah. Dude, all the time. You go to you go to uh, magic shows, look out for people with notebooks. Tons of magicians. They write it down. They're like, oh, I'll do this. Because most magicians aren't in the public eye. They're doing corporate. So they're yeah. doing the same show for 20 years. And they're doing other people's shit anyways. And they're all copying off each other. Fuck. Yeah. So it's not like comedy in the sense that like, you have to have new material and what's crazy is like you make it sound like it's fixed but in comedy it's not fixed too we talked about this before people still lift in comedy it's just people you guys lift, yeah. it's it's just it is what it is there's no like 
yeah, culture openly. of not lifting. No, yet. they share. Oh, you should say this joke. Yeah. I say this joke all the time, and, and they love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they're like, oh, thanks. I'm like, that's so... I always compare it to... If you compare comedy to magic, it's like com- magic is in the knock-knock joke phase yeah. where they can still go on stage and do knock-knock jokes with their magic you know, type deal, and the crowd loves it because they never heard a knock-knock joke before. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, we're in the green room being like, what a fucking hack this guy yeah. is, right? So it's kind of that right now. It's not... Not enough people have seen magic to understand what shit magic is. Yeah. Yeah. I think comedy is like that too, though. That, uh, well, it's, well in, for the French comedy, mm. people that see a lot of comedy uh, will like the good stuff. But if yeah, you only like you. go see yeah. like, they'll like you guys, one, yeah. one show a year, yeah. then they can get any, any garbage comedy. Yeah. They'll like. Yep. They'll like it if there's a lot of jokes, even if all the jokes yeah. are shit. Yeah. Or they're like all they, hacked. They love it if it's like mixed with like a lot of body yeah. humor and you know just like tropes, mm. classic tropes, and it very much. Uh, it feels like, yeah, it feels like uh, Quebec feels like some weird European country that's like 10, 15 years behind mm. culturally on yeah. certain things, where it's like, oh, they have yet to catch up with like this stuff. But comedy, it's weird because they had, like, there was a nice like little They still golden enjoy period. juggling and mimes. And, mm. They do. Well, yeah. We're in Mexico. Yeah, yeah. Mexico. <laughs> a little bit. Little yeah, because there's some stuff like him, for example, which. I was talking to, like, all the migrants, and they, they, <laughs> they, they, they all, all like the same shit. Yeah, they all agree. They're like, oh, you, you guys love that too? You guys love unicycles and fucking face painting? I thought like, yeah, more, dude, we love it. Because I went, like, when I was on his tour, yeah. I got to see all those fans. So I thought it was, like, a lot of that. And there is a lot of that in Quebec. But then there's a lot of the like non-comedy educated like n- yeah, non-comedy right. nerds and it is wild to see yeah it yeah. is wild to see yeah i'm pretty sure comedy nerds no matter what country no matter what they're language, gonna find the, yeah. they they can tell the difference between garbage and good yeah. stuff but quebec people love french quebec love people love comedy so much but most people don't know about comedy it's like so, music so it's almost like asking a fat person if the dessert is good, <laughs> right? Of course it's going to be good. He's a fat piece of shit. Yeah. It's, it's edible. Fucking, he li- it, there's, it's sweet. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's edible. Like, I can yeah, eat it. Of can't, it's I can't trust his observations on yeah. this. He's going to love it. You want a thinner guy. Yeah. 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 That's such a good Yeah, but not yeah. two things. They're like, yeah. this is the best thing I've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, it's the only thing you've had in yeah. months. <laughs> no, that's yeah. What are we at? We're, we're well, at one twenty-seven. Yeah, we're well past, dude. Do you want you guys want to you guys want to stick around for a page or? Sure, sure. Yeah, all right. I'll we'll, do we'll mind if I get a refill. Yeah, we'll take a break. Fucking not uh, uh, all like drink. Thanks for watching. Follow their links below. Mike Pantelis. Stick around if you guys are are the real ones, or if you're if you're the real mandem, you're gonna pay five bucks, dude. That's like half the price of your fucking coffee at Starbucks. Hook it up. Come see us on Patreon. Thank you so much for telling three friends. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, nice. I got Bottom of the barrel, bottom of the barrel.